I get many emails that come to my email address or to different addresses within our system, and they ask various questions, not to mention personal questions that people ask, questions about advancement, about the soul, how to advance further, what's the connection, and what is the path or questions that arise while they're on the path. There are people who aren't necessarily here with us, and there are people that study with us. I have a blog in Hebrew, in Russian, in Spanish, in many languages, and there I get letters and questions from all over the world. And there are those that don't agree and criticize me. And I want to thank those people, as this helps me clarify what I'm thinking and what is the way that I see the wisdom of Kabbalah. I don't presume to take the entire wisdom of Kabbalah upon myself. Maybe there are others, you should check them out. This criticism helps in clarifying things, and I hope that people will enter the blog and write to us. Not so that we can argue or irritate each other. We'll explore your questions to the point that we'll discover why we're alive, what life is for, what the meaning of our lives is, what's our purpose. What are the means at our disposal to actualize our lives, and what's so special about our generation? What are the problems that are unique to us, to our children, the people of Israel, the state of Israel, and the whole world? There are many things that we're connected to, and it's worthwhile to examine them because the wisdom of Kabbalah has something to say about everything. Maybe while I'm teaching lessons or giving lectures, I'm not expressing myself well enough. I see that in all blogs there are short questions and answers that are more personal. The questions are asked in a personal manner. Sometimes the question is not asked very nicely, but that's all right. I like it. You can tell that a person cares about a certain matter, and he doesn't simply want to annoy you, but he wants to clarify something because it's a sore spot for him, and he's asking why you're saying things this way. Maybe it's completely the opposite. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's false. So to truly study how things are, we're talking about our lives, things that are still important. Well, our lives themselves are not that important, but what's more important is what we can get out of life. This is much, much more important than this life because we can attain eternity, wholeness and infinity. Let's deal with this. This is why I opened the blog and I hope that we'll get to meet there. I'm looking forward to meeting you. So, right. Thank <laughs> you.